Shiloh is blessed uh, to have a charitable foundation, one of the few African-American churches that I'm aware of uh, that has a separate 501c3 charitable foundation uh, that is engaged in uh, community redevelopment uh, in the surrounding area right around our church in, in what is now being called the Mid-City area. Uh, Shiloh is a financial partner in the Electric Depot that is taking place uh, just east of the sanctuary uh, on the old Entergy property. Uh, in that space, uh, there are going to be offices, there are going to be residences, there are going to be businesses, there are going to be restaurants, there are going to be social activities. Shiloh is a financial partner in bringing that about, and Shiloh will have uh, a say in how those people uh, are able to acquire residency within that facility. Just south of Government Street, Shiloh is in the process of renovating an old motel, what we used to call no-tell motels. Uh, he, Shiloh is in the process of renovating an old no-tell motel into five apartments uh, that will provide shelter and conveniences and a higher quality of life uh, for five families in our community. Small steps in the right direction and what we hope is that we will be able to build upon these small steps and make larger steps uh, in the footprint of this community. People need to hear more than Jesus is bread in a starving land and water in dry places. What people need is bread and water and the opportunities to purchase bread and water, and the opportunities after they've had their bread and water to lay down in a place of safety and comfort and convenience. And we recognize that we have a, a responsibility both to Christ and to our fellow man to do all that we can and utilize the resources that God has blessed us to have to help make these things a reality in the lives of people. Truth be told, there are other churches that have far greater resources than we have that aren't doing these things. And it's unfortunate that that's the case. But we're not going to cry over what others are not doing. We're simply going to do the best that we can with the resources that God has placed in our hands.